Welcome to the August edition of The Daisy Chain and it is one of my favourite times of year when our Year 6 students tell me all about their exhibition topics. Now Mary, tell me what is your line of inquiry? What is it that you are discovering about your exhibition? My exhibition is about the causes of injustice in the criminal legal system. Oh, that's a heavy topic for your six, Year 6 exhibition. Um, tell me a little bit about those injustices. What are the things you're exploring? Um, well, I'm exploring and discovering about different perspectives on people that come into contact with the criminal legal system. Are those perspectives good ones or are those perspectives sometimes challenging? Um, they're pretty challenging. I've been looking into people who may have disabilities and when they come into contact with the criminal legal system, people have perspectives that they are untrustworthy and unreliable for the truth. Wow, I mean that's that's fairly important stuff for you to be educated about but for other people to be educated about as well. And what have you started to find through your line of inquiry that it's not just such a rosy picture is it? Yeah, it's um, very complicated and there's a lot of different ideas for mm. the issue and how to solve it and a lot of people again on perspectives they believe that it's fine the way it is. <laughs> and, yeah. That, and that's really powerful in itself, right? Mm -hmm. That what your line of inquiry looks at is the fact that it's not fine the way it is. What, what are one, what's one solution or one thing that we can all do differently to help, I guess, shift our perspectives that we may have? Um, well, one of the best ways is to educate and inform mm -hmm. others about the issue and that can change their perspective and what they think about oh. And this is you doing just that, and you're going to do it for a lot more people in two weeks' time when exhibition takes place. Now, Ruby, you have got a fascinating topic for exhibition that I know nothing about. Tell us a little bit about your line of inquiry. My exhibition, I'm looking into something called Floriography, which is the Victorian language of flowers. I didn't even know that there was a language of flowers. What What is it that flowers talk about or allow us to talk about? So... Floriography was invented during the Victorian era, as far as we know, in Western culture, because in Victorian times, people couldn't really outwardly express emotions or feelings. It was frowned upon. Mm. So while wearing or giving some flowers to the receiver, that would convey emotions from yourself to them. And, and, and what is there an example? Is it a particular flower or a floral layout that would that would convey something? So, like the school daisy. Yes. Daisies mean innocence and purity and childlike whimsy. And also with ivy, that means fidelity. Oh, there you go. We've got some beautiful symbols here already. Um, now, have you found that this was actually not just in Western cultures? Have you found other cultures that use flowers in the same way? Yes. Yeah, so all around the world, different cultures use flowers to communicate different things. So in Japan, for example, they have their version of floriography, which is called Hanakotoba. And the meanings vary between culture because cultures are also different. Yeah. Exhibition is on in two weeks time and these are just two snapshots of amazing lines of inquiry taking place from our year six students. Um, Ruby, do you have a favourite amongst your peers? What, what, who's somebody or a topic that's really grabbed you when you're learning about other people's work as well? I think Heidi's topic was really interesting because she's doing the Russian Revolution and obviously Russia is such an interesting country with all their history and how their country came to be. Mm, how brilliant. And what about you, Mary? Have you got, a, have you got another topic that, um, that has really inspired you? Um, I think my favourite exhibition would be Tora's and she's looking into Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and like over time and their culture. Mm, and that can have some tie-ins with your line of inquiry as well, can't it? Yeah, how brilliant. Um, well, I, I don't know about you, but I'm just a little bit uh, gobsmacked. Jaw has dropped to the bottom of the ground to be able to talk um, to these students uh, so intellectually about the way you've engaged in your topics, but also um, Ladies, I think you should be congratulated with the way you're raising awareness around either issues or, or parts of history that may be long forgotten. So I thank you both uh, for your time today and can't wait to see what you do in two weeks' time.
Well, we are closing out today's episode in the library as a reminder to everybody that next week is book week, a week where the whole school get dressed up and celebrate their love of literacy. Uh, we also have a lot more still coming up this term, including our biennial concert and of course the spring car show. So if you have got a special car that you would like to showcase as part of T-Rex Festival, please get in contact and we look forward to seeing our whole community at that event very soon.